In this question, a 34-year-old HIV positive with sudden onset of fever, chills, cough, and left-sided chest pain that worsens with deep breath. So this is a breathing, you know, this is a problem of the lungs, not with the heart, because it worsens with deep breathing. Physical exam reveals bronchial breath sounds over the left lower lung. His most recent CD4 count is going to be 800 cells per cubed. Which of the following is most likely responsible for this patient's symptoms? Now, the most common cause of pneumonia, this patient is having pneumonia. The most common cause of pneumonia in anyone is going to be strep pneumo. What is the most common cause of pneumonia between age 0 to 4 weeks? I use the mnemonic BEL, B-E-L. Group B, strep, group B, E for E. coli, L for listeria. This is the same thing for meningitis as well. From 4 weeks to 18 years, they're gonna, they use a mnemonic called RUNS, MAY, COUGH, SPUTUM. RUNS, R is going to be RSV. M is going to be for mycoplasma. C is going to be for chlamydia, trachomatis. And P is going to be for uh, sputum, sorry. S is going to be for uh, strep pneumo. RUNS, MAY, COUGH, SPUTUM. From 18 to 40 years, we are going to not going to have the S, it's going to be May, cough, sputum. So mycoplasma, chlamydia, in this case not only trachomatis, in this case it's going to be pneumonia and strep pneumo. So you can see that this patient falls under this category, 18 to 40 years. In this age, uh, in this age range, the most common cause of pneumonia is mycoplasma. Then why are we choosing strep pneumo? Another thing, this patient is HIV positive. Why are we choosing strep, strep pneumo as our uh, favorite choice for pneumonia? That's because despite of age, strep pneumo is the most common cause of pneumonia. Also, this patient has a CD4 count of 800, which is, this is, this patient is not going to be considered HIV, um, as, this patient is not going to have HIV associated disease as of yet. We're only going to start looking at the, at the HIV associated disease when it's 400 or less, right? So for this patient, we're going to think of this patient as a normal patient. Even though we know he's not normal, his CD4 count is much low. But we're still going to consider in terms of differential diagnosis, we're going to consider this patient uh, for, for the sake of diagnosis, we're going to consider him as a normal patient. And the most common cause of um, pneumonia in any age group is going to be strep pneumo. Now, why not pick mycoplasma pneumonia? Because we have to have some sort of indication that this is mycoplasma pneumonia, right? Mycoplasma pneumonia is usually seen in young adults, either military recruits or college students. This is called walking pneumonia. When we look at the x-ray, it looks disgusting. It's really, really bad looking. But really, the pneumonia is not so bad. You know, they don't feel as bad. You know, they walk around, you know, they go about their business they feel a little sick but when we look at the x-ray it looks really really bad that's why it's called walking pneumonia so for any any pneumonia we have to have some sort of indication even though it falls under this age group we're going to go with the most common cause of pneumonia because there is no other indication which tells us otherwise so in this case the answer is going to be strep pneumonia